so we're, so we're back again doing another battery replacement on a MacBook Pro Retina. Bienvenue and welcome to 150 Days of Winter. Hello. Seven screws, one plate. If you've watched one of my other videos where I basically went through the whole process of doing this, somebody pointed out to me that of all the things that I videoed, I didn't actually show how to remove the battery. It was all done in very, in very fast motion and you could, couldn't actually uh, notice how long it takes. Now, in my experience, I really hate doing this job. Uh, it basically, I've, I, I have images of me fighting like the adhesive there and it just turns into a complete nutter, you know. However, recently I have done about four or five of these over the past two months and I think I've got the technique down fairly well, okay. I think if you look on iFixit's own website, they class this as like difficult, okay. It's not easy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this, it's not easy. However, I don't think it is like impossible. And with a few techniques while doing it, you can get this done in, I'm going to say, half an hour, less than half an hour, okay. So, I'm going to have a stopwatch running while I'm doing this. It's not going to be a speed run okay i'm just trying to prove that it's not taking forever to do this okay i've got a new battery for my fix it i've got my i fix it toolkit um plus loads of other bits i've got the uh like the adhesive remover and uh, basically, we're going to switch the overhead camera in a second. I'm just going to go through the process of how easily you can remove this battery with the least amount of aggravation. Okay? So we've started our timer. We're going to do the easy bit first. That is removing the speakers. So there you have, speakers are done. Now we get full access to, now using this. There you go, one done. We'll just give it a minute to uh, permeate, so to speak. Just slowly working it in. Okay. We've got two pieces of adhesive to go through. I've already gone through one. Again, ever so carefully. Just 
go to just these two cells in the middle. Um, I'm just going to bend it so it's out of the way. Now for this, there's a bit of a step here. So if I put alcohol in the sides, it's not actually going to get underneath it. The best way to put alcohol is under the base of it here and also the top of it here. That way it'll, it'll get in there properly. A very easy way to make sure that the adhesive the anti-adhesive goes in. So if you just put a card in there, and of course, as soon as I tip this in there, that's going to go underneath the battery. And we are going to slowly again at an angle start working our way in okay. and that's gone almost as far as it'll go we can now do the same thing from this side This is almost done. I almost forgot the most important thing, the final screw that holds on that board. Again, I just try to lift it up. There's still a bit of adhesive, probably at this top bit here. That we're just going to work our way under. The battery has now been removed. You can see now that we did that in just over 20 minutes. Before, of course, we put the new battery in, we need to clean up all this residue, all these old, this old glue. But literally, that is, it's a bit of a wrestle because I don't have a non-stick, um, um, a grippy mat underneath here, which is why this goes around. But you've just got to slowly work your way in to get under the glue. And uh, yeah, it's really that simple. So there you have it. 13 in about, I'd say it was another 10 minutes of me reassembling. I had to give it a clean because the person had spilt what looked like sugar in there. I don't ask these questions. Um, so all in all about 30 minutes. Uh, I fix it themselves say 45 to 2 hours. If you're being really slow that's very possible but it just shows that if you have uh, the right tools and, uh, and the right equipment that actually doing something like this becomes so much easier okay now all that's required is to go and recycle the old battery and uh, and there we go another job done um, once again if you'd enjoyed these uh, this video uh, please click the subscribe button down below click the like button leave me a comment and I will see you all in the next video ciao